Hello and welcome to the Tabletop. I'm JD and today I'm here to talk about Radlands. Let's talk about it. Radlands is a two player card game where water runs everything, but there's only enough water for one camp. So your goal is to destroy their camp so you can be the sole survivor. This version of Radlands is the deluxe edition. The only difference between this edition and the retail version is this edition comes with two mats. The cards are hard plastic and the coins are hard plastic as well. To start setting up Radlands, you need to grab and shuffle the camp deck and put it in an area where both people can pull from it. Grab and shuffle the draw deck, putting it in the middle between both players. Grab the extra water tokens and each player starts with three water tokens. Grab the water silo and the raiders. Now each player draws six cards from the camp deck once you draw six camp cards, you pick three that you want to have and place them face down in front of you. Once your opponent has chosen their three, you both flip them over at the same time, revealing what your camp cards are. Once both players have revealed their camp cards, you check the bottom left number of each card to see how many cards you start with during the game. I'll start with two. And that's the setup. Now you're ready to play. To see who goes first, you flip the water token. If it lands on water, you go first. In the beginning of the game, the person who goes first only starts with one water because they have the advantage of going first. Normally, you would start with three. On your turn, the first thing you do is draw a card. Next, you can do five different actions. You can play a card, draw a card, junk a card, take the water silo, or use an ability on a card. To play a card, you have to spend water equal to the cost of the top left of the card. If I want to play this card, it's one water. I take my one water, put it on top of the character, letting me know this character is not ready. When a character is not ready, I cannot use the ability on the card. Also, if the character is injured, I cannot use the ability on the card. Camps, on the other hand, are different. If they're ready or unready, you can still use the ability on the card if you have enough water resources to do so. Let's say I didn't have enough cards in my hand or I wanted more options, I can draw a card. To do that, I spend two water and I can draw one card from the deck. Now that I'm out of water resources, I have nothing else to do. But luckily in this game, there's a thing called junking a card, which means you get the effect icons on each card, whichever one you junk. If I junk this card, I get to draw a card. If I junk this card, I get to add a card to the board that's called a punk. A punk is considered to be a person, but it only has one hit point. So if this one gets hit, it automatically goes back to the top of the deck. This icon means I can damage one of their people that's unprotected. Unprotected means there's nothing in front of them. So here, I can only hit the punk because this guy is protected. But if this punk was here, I can hit this guy and turn him where he can't use the ability. To get rid of this guy, I have to hit him again when he's already injured. This icon means you just gain an extra water. This effect icon means you heal a card, so if I had a damaged person, I can junk this card to ready him back up. The turn that you heal this guy, he is not considered to be ready. Next is the Raiders icon. This icon means if I junk this card, I get to put my Raiders out. Raiders are an event card, and each event card will always have a bomb number on it. The bomb number correlates with whatever spot it goes to on the track. If the bomb had a zero on the event card, you automatically get to do the effect of the card. At the beginning of each turn, there's an event phase. The event phase means whatever's on this track moves up one. If it's already at the number one spot, the event goes off. So the, the effect of the event will go off. Another action I can take is taking the water silo. To take the water silo, you just have to spend one water and you add it to your hand for next turn. The fifth and final action you can do is use abilities. Abilities are always represented on the bottom of the cards in a black text box, and they always have a cost with them. There are two icons that I have not covered yet. The damage icon, where you can hit a person or a camp, and the destroy icon, which means you just straight up destroy a person or a camp. If all three of your camps get destroyed, you lose, but if you destroy all three of their camps before they destroy yours, you win. And that, my friends, is Radlands. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, peace.